Well, first up, we have our favorite anti-libertarian, Matt Walsh of The Daily Wire. And he quote tweeted a Reason magazine article that said the exaggeration of what's happening at drag shows and the political response to it give all the hallmarks of a moral panic. And as an article they wrote, he quote tweeted that and said, libertarianism continues to prove itself to be an utterly useless and irrelevant political movement. And I just have to say if that were true, then I don't know why we are constantly the ire of everybody far right and far left. Like they spend more time whining about libertarians than they ever do passing bills, period. So I would say that we're not all that ineffective as a whole because we're definitely under your skin. But I also will say I don't like Reason's headline here. And I disagree that that is necessarily a libertarian take. I think a lot of libertarians are very concerned about kids at naked drag shows, period. And I'm pro drag shows as long as there's not kids there, but like, that's weird. That's not libertarian. There is a non-aggression principle under libertarianism that includes protecting children from sexualization. Um, so I think reason's really off base on this, and I don't think it's a moral But he's mechanic. just taking one article by one person at Reason, and I'm sure many of yeah. their other staff wouldn't even agree with this one author who's arguing that the child drag shows is a moral panic and people are free worrying about it too much. And again, I disagree. I think, honestly, most libertarians would disagree. So Matt Walsh is strawmanning libertarianism based off one take by one dude, and then wish casting that onto an entire ideology and movement even though most people actually probably wouldn't take that position and it's just funny to me because these people like matt and like his buddy michael knowles they simultaneously will claim that the reason that the right uh has failed in their opinion over the recent decades since reagan is because it's too libertarian and too heavily influenced by individualism and free markets and of course people like you and me look at them and go what history have you been living through but yet they'll say that the right has been too libertarian and that's the root of all its problems and that they'll also say that libertarianism is useless and utterly irrelevant it's like at some point you've got to choose one i guess although consistency isn't exactly matt walsh's thing well, you know, if Matt Walsh ever wants to sit down and have an actual debate on libertarianism, we'd be happy to discuss it on a principled basis. I don't think he will because I think he's still trying to make his audience think that he's some kind of a limited government person that remotely holds their views. And I think probably most people who watch Daily Wire assume that to be true and don't really understand that when he tries to attack libertarianism, he's attacking the basic values of capitalism and limited government and individual liberty, which I don't think they want to be caught actually flagrantly disagreeing with. So I think this is an interesting, I don't know, interesting attack from that camp. Mm -hmm.